Yo, what is up guys, Bloodsplat here, and today I've got the new Battleground implemented into World of Drain or South Shore versus Terran Male. Now, this is actually my second go at it. Uh, I originally had recorded the first one, though my dog walked in and made a shit ton of noise, so I thought you guys wouldn't want to hear that. But what if, from uh, what I've seen and heard, there is not too much of an objective to this game, which I actually really, really like. This is one thing that I really got worried in, in um, Warlord, uh, in uh, Mr. Pandaria. Uh, with the Battlegrounds, Silver Shard Mines, and Temple of Katmugu. Is what I got worried about was the, the fact that they were complicating the uh, the objectives of Battlegrounds a lot more compared to you know our well-known Battlegrounds like Wilson and Galt or BC Bassin, uh, things like that. And even though Silver Shard Mines and Temple of Katmugu weren't too bad of Battlegrounds at all, and the objectives I actually quite enjoyed, I was worried because I was I was worried that they were heading into a direction where they constantly would complicate things. And we, like in this Battleground, we get to see that consistent trend that you know Blizzard is putting into World of Draenor, and that's just simplifying things. And I love that because this game has you know been around for ten years. It's just been getting more complicated and more things being put in it every year. It's nice to have an expansion where we kind of tone things down a bit and go from there and you know grow from that point. Uh, right now it looks like we're absolutely getting destroyed. I really can't believe this. Holy shit dude. Like where's my team right now? Where's my team? Are, is like everyone dead? Let me let me actually show the raid frames for a second here. I don't usually show them because I'm too lazy. Uh, okay my team. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where my team is. Oh, oh, the reason why is because we literally only have 27 Alliance players. So we're getting wrecked. This is, oh my god, this is awful. But alright. But yeah, I like this Battleground objective because you just have to kill. It kind of reminds me of the days in Waltaric Valley when there would just be this huge battle uh, in the middle for hours, hours. Just even, a, like, it could go on for a whole day of just pure Walt, like, Walt PvP. Just crazy PvP, just a standoff in between and it's cool because we kind of get to do that even though this map looks huge we just have this massive brawl in the middle where everyone's just going ham at each other and I think the objective is basically whoever gets more kills uh, kind of like a team death match in Call of Duty you might say and yeah and whoever gets the 300 points first with a I think it's a 30 minute time limit I'm not yeah I'm pretty sure but we're getting wrecked right now we have literally no points is that even possible like, are we, like, we haven't killed anyone. Uh, that kind of sucks. But, let's just try to, just try to, try to do some actual shit right now. Alright, let's go on this warrior right now. Uh, so I have, I have a few new, uh, a few things to talk about in this video, and that is, one thing is that I have, uh, gotten a few things with Black Friday. Black Friday was, uh, just recent, and there's a lot of deals going on. And on Amazon, which I definitely took advantage of this year because I actually ordered a new laptop, which I actually was not sure if that was actually a Black Friday deal, but it said that you saved six hundred dollars on that deal, and those were going like that was like a crazy deal in my eyes, and I just picked it up like it was a laptop that I thought would be great, and yeah, that's huge news for the channel because in previous times I would literally you know go out in the summer and summer or like you know any breaks and my family likes to travel a lot so I would go with them and stuff and I would always say to you guys for for those of you that have stuck around for a while you probably know this and I was I would always say you know okay this is the time to go ham guys on my channel because I'm you know I'm very very busy during the school year like now and stuff um, and then I always say during the summer that I'm gonna go ham with my videos but I've had problems where even though in the summer I have a lot of time I do go to it you know I, I usually go out to a different country and I have to take my laptop with me uh, and I'm not able to play on my or you know edit and play and record and stuff on my normal desktop which can absolutely handle these things the one I'm recording on right now I can only go on my pretty much a crappy laptop because I already have a very very good desktop so the laptop laptop is just you know it's just a cool thing to browse on the internet at on uh, you know at bed or something like that or if sometime I want to take my laptop away I could just browse the internet and stuff but it really really comes to use when I'm going on those breaks and going on vacation but it just can't handle you know the the, the crazy editing software now I tell you guys that a lot of blood splat one which is the most successful video on my channel was edited on, edited on my laptop because the only time I would have to 
edit on uh, Blood Splat 1, which is my major Frost uh, Mage PvP movie, was during the summer. But, because I had went away, I was only stuck with- uh, sorry, I guess, excuse me. I was stuck with my crappy ass laptop. And it was just such a hassle, it was terrible, it was uh, midsummer. I was in Greece, so it was also burning, uh, hot, you know, it was crazy, but I, and my laptop crashed several, several times because it could not handle After Effects at all. So I thought it would be, uh, you know, going back to the point, I thought it would be a great time to pick up a new laptop. This one is definitely going to serve the purpose, and you know, uh, now that it's been a few years and it and I've gotten my desktop and stuff already set up. I thought it'd be a good investment to get a good laptop. So now I have a good desktop and a good laptop. And that's huge news, as I said, guys. Because now, in the times that I do go out, in, uh, when I have so much time to make videos for you guys uh, during the breaks. But even if I do go out on vacation and go to a foreign country, I'll have this good laptop with me. Which I think will be able to handle the software, guys. Uh, I'll just quickly mention some of the specs. I'm not gonna, you know, I might, I, I'm probably when when I actually get the laptop, I might make a, you know, a little review and just, or maybe like a gaming setup video. I should probably do that on my channel uh, of just everything I got going on with my desktop, with my laptop, everything, and then like let you guys know the whole shabam about it. But um, it's a MSI GS60, and the specs I've got it got on it is a 256 gigabyte SSD, which I'm extremely pumped uh, about because I know exactly how SSDs form and the difference in SSDs compared to normal hard drives are crazy, uh, for, uh, to me at least, I think they're crazy. I think it's a great, great investment on SSD, especially around Black Friday, guys, because I don't know what it is, but SSDs are extremely cheap on Black Friday. I, don't know, I do not know what it is with SSDs, but I'm telling you right now, guys, Get an SSD on Black Friday, just get an SSD in general anytime because it's definitely a great investment for an upgrade on your computer. I promise you, you will notice the difference big time. Things just, you know, your boot times, your uh, things uh, on how fast things load on your computer, they're just, they're just so, so fast compared to normal hard drives. And um, so I got a 256 gigabyte SSD, which I'm really happy about. 12 gigabytes of RAM, kind of an unusual uh, amount of ram because uh you know most most people either have like eight gigabytes uh some people may may have four gigabytes of ram eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes uh 12 is kind of like you know around the middle so the price was good there but also a good good upgrade i do not even think i'm gonna have to use up to 12 gigabytes of ram uh and some people might say that you don't even have to use more than eight so i might have gotten the cheaper version for eight gigabytes of ram but i really took into consideration the fact that I want to be able to use intense uh, editing software on that you know, on that laptop, like After Effects, where where having a good amount of RAM is really really important for like video previews and shit. You guys, most of you guys probably don't know exactly what I'm talking about, and you probably think this is a really really boring conversation. But the whole idea is it, of it is that this is a huge thing for my channel because, like I said, I'm gonna be able to have a good computer to use and a good computer to record, edit everything during the break where where's the time where I have most of my time so I can, you know, put out a shit ton more videos for you guys, which I'm so, so happy about. So I got that. Also picked up a good deal on just a pair of earphones for a really, really cheap amount. I, I can't exactly remember um, the price I paid for it, but my earphones, I if there's one thing that always breaks, it's freaking earphones. It's always freaking earphones for me. You know how some people say that like, you know, you have that one thing that always breaks for you. Like you just break this one particular object and everyone has like a different object for them. I don't know. But, but if there, if it was, if it was the case for me, if that's actually the case, the one thing, what is this blue fog going on right now? What the hell? What is this? Like get out of my face. Um, okay. If there's one thing in the world that always breaks for me, it's earphones. It doesn't matter what the quality of the earphones was, because I've gotten a pair of Beats, I've gotten a pair of like, you know, the Razer earphones. And now the one thing I've learned, do not spend a lot on earphones, at least for myself, because I always break them. They always just go to shit. They just break. So I picked up a good pair, but you know, not too expensive pair of earphones. And I'm definitely gonna treat them well and try not to break them because they always break for me. I don't know what it is, but the way I use my earphones apparently is just too rough, I guess. 
so I might be way more careful this time. But I picked up a good pair of Sennheiser uh, earphones, I believe, and they're great make. They're great making earphones, and it was literally like 60% off. So a good pair of those for uh, quite a cheap price. And that was uh, that was a Black Friday deal. And I live in the UK, guys. All you guys say in the UK that they don't have deals. Well, if you look for them, you do a lot of digging, you will find them. I, it took a lot of digging for me to find that uh, those deals because you know Amazon kind of hides them in there sometimes. But they're there. You just have to look for them a bit, and you will find them. I promise you. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. I just want to let you guys know. Uh, also, happy late Thanksgiving, guys. I'm so thankful for all of you. That's one thing. My channel isn't too huge or anything, but that is one thing that I'm really, really thankful for. It's just you guys' support, because I don't know, like, I don't know if I would have be playing this game. I've said it multiple times on my channel before. I do not think I would be playing World of Warcraft and having the fun I do, uh, that I do have in World of Warcraft if, if it wasn't for my YouTube channel and your guys' support. Because it, doing YouTube and having, you know, hearing feedback from you guys and having the response that you guys give me just makes this all fun and just, you know, makes just, you know, seeing the subs, the views, it's just a goal. It's just a thing to look for it's on on a day that I'm feeling bad. I can always go back to my YouTube channel, check out my videos, check out the comments that you guys have left me, uh, with, especially with things like Botspot1, which was an insane response and, and a video that I go back you know, every few days still, even though it's been out for more than half a year now, I believe. It's just, it's crazy. So that's one thing I'm thankful for, guys. You guys got to be thankful for something as well. I'm, I'm thankful for my family, of course, and all that shabam as well. But, whoa, we just throw an elemental, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just thankful for all of that. And even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, and I don't really ce celebrate Thanksgiving myself, um, because uh, I come from Greece and we do have a Thanksgiving. I come from Greece and I'm I'm a Greek American, so I'm kind of like, you know, in the middle. I'm more way more Greek than American, even though I might sound like I have more of an American accent. The only reason because of that is because I've been to more American schools all my life. I've never lived in America. Yeah, some of you guys, especially the European guys, might be uh might be surprised by that because especially the Europeans. Uh, think that I, you know, have a, a much more, uh, you know, American accent than I do have an, on a European accent. And I think that's true. But I've been going to American schools like all my life. So that's, you know, the reason why the education system is huge there in the way I speak. So, you know, even if you don't celebrate and uh, oh, like I said, what I was saying is that I come from Greece and we do have Thanksgiving, though it's a bit different. The tradition is a bit different and it's on a different day. And I don't live in Greece currently, so it's kind of just, you know, it's a, it's a little tradition in my family, but we don't, you know, celebrate it to the extent of some American families do, where they just have, like, you know, get around and, like, watch a bunch of football on the TV. I don't know, that's like the stereotypical Thanksgiving dinner and invite a bunch of people over and stuff. I've, I, believe me, I've had some, you know, some years where we've done that, where just kind of like, you know, a little party where... A few people will come over, some guests and stuff, and it was nice. But even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you guys should all be graceful and happy for what you have, and it's a good time to, it's a good time to do that. So happy late Thanksgiving to you guys. Thank you for watching this video and stuff, and you know supporting me. Other than that, I spent a lot of time just talking about, of just ranting about different topics that I really want to get across to you guys. I like doing that a lot on my channel if you haven't noticed already. Uh, that's one thing I do on my channel. I rant a lot of, I rant a lot about different topics even though I don't exactly want to. Want to. Um, I kind of wanted to talk a lot more about, you know, this Battleground since it's the first, it's the, it's the first time I'm showing you guys this on my channel. And this is just recently put into WAD. But, you know, I kind of got off topic. How long have we been doing this? We've been doing this for 17 minutes. That's crazy. I might just, I don't know. This this battleground is going to take ages. I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. So I'm just going to probably just wrap it up here, guys. I really enjoy uh, you guys watching and hearing me talk about it. Uh, my overall thoughts, just to wrap things up on South Shore versus Terran Mill, is that I like it. Just, I mean, it can get a bit, you know... Uh, from just playing it, this is my second time playing it, as I said. It can get a bit, you know, repetitive and stuff, but it sounds like it would be especially fun and crazy fun if you had, like, this huge 
pre-made group where you would just go into it and just, you know, you know, just go ham and play with your friends and stuff like that on Skype or on TeamSpeak or whatever the fuck you guys prefer, you know. Uh, I, I should have used Time Warp this whole time. I haven't used Time Warp once this game, but uh, probably other people have been anyway. But, um, yeah, that's... I mean, it, it sounds like it could be a lot of fun. It can get a bit repetitive at times, but I like the fact that Blizzard are kind of simplifying things again, and, and they're just going to their normal tradition and remembering what made this game fun in the first place, and that was just simple kind of world PvP, because this kind of feels like world PvP, but it's put into a battleground, so it's a bit more organized as well, and it makes it, you know, it's cool, because just constant fighting, and it's just like a team deathmatch in Call of Duty, which is, you know, one of the most popular modes if you ever played Call of Duty you know that the team deathmatch is like the main mode everyone plays team deathmatch pretty much dominantly so it it feels like that and I like that I, I think I mean Blizzard already has a lot of battlegrounds if you're look if you're just so like freaking oh there's no objective blah 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 then go freaking play one of the other fucking like 20 battlegrounds that Blizzard has or some shit you know we have so many that have you know complicated but fun objectives for you guys. It's nice that we have a battleground where we could just have this massive ass brawl and just go ham. But anyway guys, that wraps up my thoughts on South Shore versus Terran Mill. I also hope you guys enjoyed the little rant and a few topics about uh, certain things. Uh, how am I doing on the damage board? Alright, I'm not doing too bad. I've been very, very, very distracted by it, certain, uh, by you know just talking to you guys and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. We did kind of get, uh, oh, holy shit, we're pretty much catched up. You know what, I'm just going to probably put music in the background for a bit, or maybe just end this video, I'm not sure. But regardless, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like, a comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.